When you see this icon, pause the presentation, restart when you're ready. The eSchool National 5 Gaelic Learners course was developed with the help of the following bodies. Nasur Lion Akam, my holidays. In this exercise, again, we're looking at more thematic uh, exercise, and this one all connected to holidays or vacations. And we'll also be looking at how to ask how big or small or longer uh, the amount or size of something. And we'll also be looking at comparatives and superlatives and how we create them. So holidays in Gaelic, there are two ways that are very common to say holidays in Gaelic. One is lion sura, or the other one is sur lion. And both of them just mean three days. And as you know, the adjective in Gaelic doesn't uh, tend to go in front of the adjective. So if it does, it always means it's very important. So in this case, sur lion is, also means lion sura, three days. So you'll hear both um, quite commonly. Now, taking a trip in Gaelic, there's lots of nice little words in Gaelic for taking a trip. And um, one of them is coursed, a trip or a tour. Hami er coursed, I'm on tour. Hami er coursed. So you could say, Hami er coursed, I took a tour to the Highlands. I took a trip to the Highlands. Moon coursed means you're going about a place. Hami do moon coursed, they're going around and about. The other word is the word tourist, a journey or a voyage. And you'll have heard that used, it gets used for a, in a few other ways. But in this case, Chai er Turis at Canada. He went on a journey to Canada. Chai er Turis at Canada. In a sense, course almost makes it seem like you're going to return. Whereas tourist means you're going to a place and you might not be coming back. I don't know, that's a good way to think about it. Hopefully, though, if you do go on a tourist bata, though, a boat trip, you will come back. Tourist bata. Another lovely wee word is the word scribe. That's just a wee jaunt. I gav me scribe gan vauntjoch. I took a wee donder, a wee yomp to the moor. Scribe. But they're just there. There's lots of nice wee words in Gaelic for talking about taking a trip. Now, to talk about being how long, and if you're going on holiday, you might ask somebody how long something is or how long it was. You use the following structure. You say je ho fad or je ho fad sahae. How long is it? Je ho fad sahae. You'll notice the um, last a in fad that is dropped. Je ho fad savanturis. How long was the journey? Je ho fad evashiv it falav. How long were you away? Je ho fad evashiv it falav. And if you want to talk about it, you can say, Va anturis shia urin je gaj. Va anturis shia urin je gaj. The trip was six hours in length. Va shinya shul er sentawa. Just using four. Va shinya shul er sentawa. Va kugen mile. Va mi er falav er sentbliona guli. I was away for a year and a half. Va mi falav er sentbliona. Gulli. Ji So this structure works with helping quantify the size of amount of anything. So Ji Ho. So Ji Ho more Saha Glasgow. Ji Ho Ard Saha. Ji Ho Fuer Saha Nirivi. So that Ji Ho and then an adjective to ask to help quantify the, the, the amount of that adjective that you are in. So here's a little scribe ex uh, exercise to do. Take your time, and there's some examples. Jeho ard sa how? Hami koig troyen is she a orlich in arst? Jeho mor sa ha in skol akad. Hamu och kied scholar ans in skol akam. Jeho fuer sa ha in chije in ju. Hai guma fuer. Hai mu choig pink Celsius in you. So answer those questions, pause it, and when you're ready, show it to a teacher when you get the chance. Jeho fads avashavir follow. This 
will be more useful when you're talking. And we're going to look at quite a lot of vocabulary in the next few slides. But vashinye falav er son. We were away for blione vashinye falav er son blione. Vashinye falav er son shachgein. Shachgein. Vashinye falav er son mias. Mias. Vashinye falav er son mias. Vashinye falav er son or or Fortnite, very useful word to know. Kalajiak or Kalajiak. So I should follow is in Jerik Shahke. We went away for a weekend, Jerik Shahke. So here's some vocabulary. Vashinis Khaishin Gantai. We went to the beach. Khaishin Gantai. Vashinis Snab owns the boot. Vashinis Snab owns the boot. Ravshin Kurim Khraik owns the Khanya. Gavshin kurim chreik ans echenye. Hokshin kashchelen kanerich erin trai. Hokshin kashchelen kanerich erin trai. Yichshin rochjak erichie. Yichshin rochjak erichie. Vami egal ne krenye ans Vamikam waskig lish a grain, ere vine. Vamikam waskig lish a grain, ere vine. Now you might want to ask somebody, Jeshors ah jahau, and this is where it's very useful to use the she, is or she, for talking about what a place is like to say it is something. So here's some good examples. She ah jiboyoch a hound. She ach je boyoch a haun. She elen big bria a haun. She elen big bria a haun. She balle moor trang a haun. She balle moor trang a haun. She ach je savoch a haun. A chanele torinjoch. She ach je savoch a haun. A chanele torinjoch. She do ich alin charstel a hinge. She do ich alin charstel a hinge. Because do ich is, of course, a feminine No. So if you take that she example, you will use it here and jeshor se a jahound. So what is your opinion of these places? So pause it and you can get them. If you don't know, you can. Add in another um, example for it. There'll be no right or wrong answer for that, so make sure that you just show it to a teacher to make sure it's grammatically correct. Carson e chayu al. This is more vocabulary. So if you were talking in the past tense, these ones might be more, it might be quite useful for you. Hachurloch akam furoch hal. Ha chulloch akam furoch hal. Va uye vor akam riev ans en duich. Va uye vor akam riev ans en duich. Hur mi parakan er ache furich snok ans ne pianta. Hur mi parakan er ache furich snok ans ne pianta. Gunik mi filam majin. I guess vami erson ugal aun. Gunik me fillam me yin, I guess vami erson ugal aun. Vami ekiari rutagin et yaliche yanu. Vami ekiari rutagin et yaliche yanu. And Karsona hate you well. Why will you go? Be me a furoch kori moko oichen. Be me a furoch kawari mo chaoichen. Butalam nashalian eichken. Butalam nashalian eichken. Hami erson pekin frangish yunsachuk. Hami erson pekin frangish yunsachuk. 
han ne prijen na sura na ha iet an an alabu han ne prijen na sura na ha iet an an alabu va mi ekiari rutekein eter jaligje ianu va mi ekiari rutekein eter jaligje ianu so that's quite a lot of vocabulary Make sure you understand what these things mean before you use them. Too often in modern language writing, people use phrases that they don't actually understand what they mean. So make sure that you've used these in speech or talk long before you ever use them in a writing exercise or indeed in talk. Make sure you know what they mean. Don't say things that have just been given to you. You learn them, use them, try and practice working with them. Now, what we're going to look at is comparisons in Gaelic. And we've looked at two comparative adjectives already, nishar and nesmissa, if you remember looking back at mohwaja, health. Hamia faroke nishar, a nish. I feel better now. Now that nas is very important. It's a bit like the ur for telling you something that's comparative in English. Now making the comparative in Gaelic's a little bit different from how it is in English, but it actually follows a nice simple pattern. You take the adjective and you put nas in front, you slenderize the last vowel, that means you add an i after it, and you add an e on the end. So here's some examples. Snock becomes na snoike. Snock na snoike. Bjahol becomes nis bjahala. So it's already slender, bjahal. So bjahal becomes nis bjahala. Ha yoin bjahal. Aha rabbersh nis bjahala. Ha yoin bjahal. Aha rabbersh nis bjahala. Arst becomes nis arstra. So even though there's only one vowel in there, a, it becomes arstra. Nis arstra. Ha jason arstra. Ha dani nis arstra. And the only thing you have to watch out for is F's. F's become um, united. F was a vowel anyway. Fuer nas uere. Nas uere. So ha alba fuer. Aha and danabark. Nas uere. So there you go. So you, that's what you do. You just take any vowel that goes with it. Gavshin kursh ganila. Now this slide has come in a little bit out, but I'm just going to look at it very quickly. Gavshin turisbahta ganila. We took a boat trip to the island. Who get ur ehija? It took an hour of time. Chunikshin we saw. Shalag view. Shalian bria beautiful views. Toglichen echtria historical buildings. Dunye karsjo friendly people. Moren och turish, lots of tourists. So, the comparative. So what you're going to do is take these adjectives and you're going to follow the rules that um, you're going to slend nas, slenderize, add an e. So bla, for example, becomes nas blaya. Now you don't need to know what these mean, but what you can do afterwards is look them up and see what they do mean. Some of them you'll know, some of them you won't. Bla nas blaya. So pause it. Once you've had a go, look at the next one. There's a couple that are, don't fit in the pattern, but we'll look here. Fregerston bla nas blaya, warmer. Saloch nas saliche, dirtier. Tolliche nas tolliche, doesn't change. Ergver, joy. Nas ergvere, joyful, more joyful. Gaeloch. Nas Gaelicia, more Highland, more Gaelic. Subulche, nas Subulche. Falin, nas Alinye, healthier. Yalente, nas Yalente. You don't change ones that are um, ending in A like that. Enchinoch, nas Enchinicha. More interesting. Kaunspajoch, nas Kaunspajicha. More controversial. Kunerstoch nas kunerstiche. More dangerous. Kelvor nas kelvere. More musical. 
Alin. Now you have this Alia and this Alinia. This Alinia. Boyoch. Now notice the slight change here. This boy here. This boy here. And two, you maybe don't think something from redder, but Jarak nas Jerike, nas Jerike. So it's to stop there being um, too many vowels. Um, it goes from E A to E I. And Gorom, you'll see this happen quite a lot with O's on their own. Nas Gurim, nas Gurim, it changes to U I and not an O I. Not all the time, but in this case, nas Gurim. But there are, of course, in Gaelic, irregulars. Now, we do know, however, we haven't looked at the irregular verb, we know that irregulars of all times are things that you get used to because they happen so frequently. And our friend Nishar, which we looked at previously, better, is there. So they're very common words. Nishar, better. Donna, nismissa, worse. More, nasmoa, bigger. Big, nasluga, you also see nasbika, but nasluga. Furista, nasasa, easier, nasasa. Durv, nasdura. Larger, nastrisa. Fluch is nasfliche or nasfluche. And che, nasthoha, nasthoha. So there's a range of, they're just irregular, but a lot of them are very common and you'll see them appear. Now, when you're dealing with them, just treat them like an adjective. They are still, they are comparative adjectives, so you treat them like a comparative. Ha and chi ja nisha and ju, the weather is better today. Ha chi ja ma and ju, the weather is good. Ha chi ja nisha and ju. Ha nyel kawam nas toli ja ijer, kawam isn't happier at all. But you can use them to actually compare things side by side. Ha to nas arsha na kalam. Donald is taller than Callum. Han rush na smala na awab. Russia is bigger than Scotland. So there's been a lot of language work in this one, but here's some edder hengi. Translate these ones to English, please, from the Gaelic. And once you're ready, you'll get the Fregerston on the next slide. Here we have it. Now, the word hor, a torst unye, Gaelic use the verb hor when you talk about taking time. So you don't gav time, you hor time. So, very urihija, it will take an hour. Ha and bus a torst nasadje, the bus takes longer. Who get unye vor, he took a long time, or it took a long time, a big time. Ha ye torst grish, farnaskawa, she's taking a while of school. And Hatukshin Fata, that didn't take long. So there's some examples, and some of these will appear in these Edder Hengis here. So once you have a chance, read over these and then try and translate them in the next one. There you go, there's the answers. So pause and correct them. Quite a lot of difficult stuff there, so don't worry about it. But hopefully you manage to get a good look at that. However, now we're going to look at superlatives in Gaelic. We've already looked at a couple of phrases which use superlative forms. Is Sharlum, I prefer, and is Logorum, I detest. So, in the same way that, in fact, in Gaelic, in Er, we change it to Est, we change the superlative in Gaelic from Nas to As. And it's very important. It's a bit like Esther telling you something superlative in English. The best, okay? So, making the superlative in Gaelic is pretty much the same as when you made the um, comparative. Snog becomes nasnoige, becomes asnoige. And there's your example. A calm snog, a snoige, a she muruchug a snoige. That she is very important. Bioho, nas bioho, as bioho. Ha you in bioho? I guess her rubbish is Pioha, ach, she, do, as Pioha. Arst, the Sarsche, a Sarsche. Had Jason Arst, had Danny the Sarsche, ach, she fumed like a Sarsche. 
den fuer nas uere as uere ha alba fuer ha en tane wark nas uere ach she nidivi as uere So if you've got that she, it's very important. When you use a superlative, because you can use she, because you can place the in front of a superlative, like she calm ashar, calm is the best, you have to use she. But it's still also, because it's based on adjective, it can still be used with other nouns. She muruchuk and balach snoike, Myrtle is the nicest boy. Or she glasko and balach smoa, alanalaba, so and balach smoa, the largest town. But again, if you know the context, in this case mountains, if you know you use the context, you don't use the noun. Ha karn gorom arst, actually bain nivish is arstje. Karn gorom is high, but bain nivish is the highest. So you have to remember when you're talking about the best or something like that, or same way that you talk about is shar wom, she a shar wom, you have to use she, not ha. So here is some translations. Try and use them and when you move on to the next slide, you'll see the answers. And there you have them. So, Scrive. Answer these questions. So, use these examples to help get your own answer. So, you're going to use she for them. So, there's some examples here to help you. So, we'll go through them. Go in carriage a shad akad. She neve in carriage a shad akam. J in Tachja is Charlotte's in Tulo. What's your favourite place in the world? Shinneherig in Tachja is Charlotte. Konyech is Arshit nad Hulo. She Maher is Arshit nim Hulo. J in Kuspit is Charlotte's in Skull. What is your favourite subject in school? She Echtri in Kuspit is Charlotte's in Skull. So take some time, write them, you might even want to ask some of those questions with a friend. So the next one is some Leivig, about Greg went to Greece with his family. Read the passage and answer the questions. So pause the video and when you get the chance um, and you feel that you've answered as well as you can, move on to the next slide and you'll get the answers. There you have them there. Now this is good, uh, all this travel talk is very good for preparing for your assignment. You want, might want to write about a holiday that you've been on. So here's a trip, you might write, you write about a trip to take for the school magazine. You have to write 120 to 200 words, usual range of tenses, a good vocabulary. And obviously the more grammatically accurate and richer your vocabulary, the higher your points. But we'll deal with the assignment in a later video in more depth. But at the moment, just try and answer uh, following some of the details that are in these bullet points here. Where you went and how you travelled there, where you stayed and what it was like, what you saw when you were there, what you did when you were there, how the place compared to your home, would you like to go back and why. So if you look at the thing, uh, Greg's report of his Greek holiday and also some of the vocabulary that we've done through it, you will get the chance to do that. And then we can look at a talk. Again, this is really based on all the stuff you've just done writing about your holiday. Um, you're going to prepare for a conversation, which will be the second part of your talk performance, which you will do towards the end of the course. And we're going to run through these um, questions here to give you a little bit of time to answer them. Kachin Jaku ans nasur wayanakad. Ko chai kawarut. Ko rishabat an tachya furich kawach. Je shors ah jibaun. Je chuniku, je rainu, and betalat agal arash. Where did you go on your holidays? Who went with you? What was the accommodation like? What kind of place is it? What did you see? What did you do? Would you like to go back? So we'll read the slide out and you can, it will give you a small time to fill in. Pause it and then move on to the next slide so you can have a conversation. Kah jinjahu ans nasur lion akad. Ko chai kawaruht. 
Kori Shiva and Ta Jafuri Kawah Jishors Ah Javaun G Hunik U G Rain U Ambatawat Ugo Adash So well done, there was quite a lot of material in that one looking at comparatives and also looking at J-Ho. Um, so all we can say is that's very hopefully going to be useful for you in writing about your holidays for the assignment or talking about your holidays in the performance talking as well as dealing with any texts which will deal with trips or holidays. So Swan Life, um, goodbye, Chiari, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Tap life.